What, are you saying that because he's a sloth, he can't be fast? Flash, flash, 100-yard dash. Buddy, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you, hmm. too. Hmm. Officer Judy Hap, CPD, how are you? I am doing fine. Well, what? Hang in there. Can I do? Well, I was hoping you could run a play. For you. Well, I was hoping you Today. could. Well, I was hoping you could run a play for us. We are in a really big hurry. What's the plate? Two nine T number. <gasps> Two nine T H D zero three. Two nine T H D zero three. H D zero three. D mm -hmm. zero three. Zero three. Hey, Flash, want to hear a joke? No. Sure. What do you call a three-humped camel? I don't know. Pregnant. <laughs> Welcome once again to the Brony Show. This is episode 364, and I am your host as always, here to bring you the Brony community for this week. I am Circuit Main. Of course, I am not by myself here. No, we have a wonderful cavalcade of panelists with more to come very soon. Of course, we are introduced by Deathlight Productions. I don't know about me introducing everyone, but uh, hi. <laughs> and Textalion. Just me, as usual. We have Toa Koi. He's been quiet for 10 minutes. I actually am probably in, I'm really happy right now. But Toa oh Koi is God. here. Toa Koi is here as well. And we also have Suki of the Otaku Ascended. Yeah, I'm here. Of course, we are here to bring you everything of the Brony community for this week. And boy, what a week it has been. There's been thrills and chills, spills and sh kills. Although I'm hopefully I don't know anything about the latter. And a lot of yays. But there has been a lot going on, and oh, I am so excited to bring it all to you. Uh, but why don't we go ahead and get started with a little bit of warm up? And uh, of course, we like to warm up our vocal cords and uh, express a little bit about our daily lives with a little bit of what's a brony. So, I peg the question to all of you out there. What's up, bronies? Uh, uh, it's uh, Monday, and because of being Monday, I cracked the back window of my work vehicle. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Uh, Crack as in... Oh. It's like, it's nothing major. It's a vehicle that we just use at the sandwich yard to go pick up parts. And when I say correct, I mean it's completely shattered. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's just the hatch, so we just removed the hatch, call it a day. Nobody cared. Well, glad nobody's actually hurt or anything. It just scared me, it was all, so nothing major. <laughs> all right. Uh, anybody else have any other what's up Brony going on with them? Uh, you know what? Uh, let me do it. Let me go ahead and do it now be, before because uh, obviously I might I might you know duck out before the end of the show. Okay. Uh, just to give a heads up, yes, uh, Destiny Two Shadowkeep pretty much launches at midnight tonight for me. Uh, I am I literally took tomorrow afternoon off, and I will be I will be starting streaming around one o'clock Eastern. And we'll pretty much just be doing Shadowkeep on stream. 
If you want to also post that out in our gaming chat when you do that, feel free to do so. Though I'm pretty sure yeah. most people here are probably in the OA chat too, but you know, just to spread the wealth. Yep. So just wanted to go ahead and put that put that out there just to make sure you know everybody was aware. All right. And uh, just for a little bit of what's up, Bernie, with me, I actually got a few different things. First off, um, I just wanted to share this. It's an awesome little uh, picture that I got from uh, an artist that shows up at the Brony meetups. Uh, he wanted to do it for fun and also because uh, I'm, I, I actually approached him about the possibility of him doing several vector art for me to basically start working on a little bit of a side project, though I am going to have to learn how to edit videos a little bit more before it actually happens. But I wanted to share because I thought the art was really cool. I don't think he's doing commissions at the moment, though, but I really I am going to reach out to be sure. Because if he is, you know, I, you know, if you guys like him, I want to spread the wealth, as it were. I kind of stepped in here at a moment. I noticed. You, you found the unmute button. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a horrible nightmare. Oh, no. All right. And uh, I also do got a little bit of um, silliness going on here. Um, I, I, well, I got called out, kind of. Who called you out? Well, here, let me. I'm just bringing it up here right now. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. And while he does that, I have been working nonstop for the past uh, four days now. And my back tire on my bike popped. Today, after I aired up both front and back, it happens, but that was not a fun thing to walk home with. Sounds like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, to um, to put a little bit of context into it, uh, it was recently announced for TrackCon that they uh, that they've announced they've announced their first guest, which is going to be M. A. Larson. Ooh, he was fun at BronyCon. Oh, he always is. He's a lot of fun no matter where he goes, but yeah. Okay. Sorry. So here's the joke. Now, um, it was talking... Let's see. There, there was a little bit of joke during BronyCon. And um, the joke was um, how to get M.A. Larson to TrotCon. Buy his book unsigned. Leave a numeric location at the con. Tell him there's an unsigned copy of his book at TrackCon, then we wait. And I decided to be a, uh, I decided to play around and I replied, "You know what? I do have a copy of Penny Royal Academy. I do have one." And I, I will bring and I will bring it to TrackCon. Come and sign it, Emmy Larson. I dare you. <laughs> this was posted yeah, afterwards. Aug this was posted August 4th. Then they announced um, September 27th that M.A. Larson is coming to TrotCon almost two months later. Hmm. So I yeah I posted in reply, oh, horse feathers, he's actually coming. Well, let it not be said, I'm, a man of, I'm not a man of my word. I will bring my book and get it signed. So I now have a standing uh, invitation to get my Penny Royal Academy book to TrotCon and have it signed by M.A. Larson. Because I had to be an idiot and call it out. Second, this is why the memes are too powerful. Mm -mm. Memes? No, it's just... I, I I, don't know if it's the memes are too powerful situation. But it is a funny situation. I'm, In all honesty, I'm happy for it. I'm really happy. I'm excited for it. Mm -hmm. Remember, <laughs> the meme of... Anyways, go to Trotcon and look what happened. Anyway, there's actually another I there's another thing that I ended up um, causing to stir a little bit in Twitter here. Um, let's see, uh, it, it was it's a little bit of back and forth there. Uh, da, 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 da. No, no, uh, you know this is what I. Okay, let's do this the easy way by actually going to my Twitter and f and finding it. Let it not be said, second so doesn't try and do his job right. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, may, I think it was a tweet. Some it was a reply tweet actually. So. 
Uh, da, da, da. Mm, uh. So yeah, another another thing that happened was a little bit of back and forth between me and BabsCon and uh, du apparently Dusty Cat and Silver Quill. They posted this picture of Dusty Cat and Silver Quill are going to be community guests at BabsCon 2020. I made the joke that they look like they're about ready to fight it out in the ring. They both replied uh, that um, Silver Quill would probably get beaten, but Dusty Cat would definitely um, have some fun with it. And even got to the point where BabsCon wants to take a rest, put a wrestling ring into the event. I don't think any of uh, this is really serious, though. I doubt they're actually that crazy. It'd be fun, though. Yeah, which, uh, actually, second? which actually got me thinking. I think we might have an idea for the second, uh, for the second stupid shirt that we're going to have to make for the show now. I actually do want to see if it's possible and we get permission and hopefully we can get our um, resident artist um, in on this if he's listening to Cole? of course Cole. No, I'm just doing that to call him. No, no. Well, let me get the idea out where we actually set up. We, we try to draw up a quick um, funny shirt of basically silver quill and the mustachio pony. Um, wrestling it out in a in a boxing ring, and also see if we can get give them as gifts to both Silver Quill and Dusty Cat. Just because I think it would be funny as hell. Granted, I'm probably not actually going to sell them. They're not my characters. Oh yeah, this is definitely not a sell thing. However, if someone wants to do. Second, so tried to pile drive me at a wrestling thing. I'm down for that. Uh, I would be more than eager to do that. I don't think he knows what that means. Neither. No, he doesn't. Well, I'm just gonna leave and, it alone. But say, and I'm just mean. I sucker punch. Well, also, <laughs> actually, actually, wait. No, wait. Circuit. I know. Wait. I know exactly what a pile driver is. Go for it. Mm, moving on. <laughs> Anybody no, else? No, no, you screwed no, you screw it up. We're rid of Toa forever. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I am going to kill Toa, it will be at my, at a point of time of my choosing, of my own way, of my own kill. You gotta get rid of them, all the backups I have on both your computer, and Suki's computer, and I moved them into the lonely corner. All right. Anyway, we're done with that. Let's go ahead and move on here. Does anybody else have any other quick what's up, Brony? Before we move on. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. So, uh, we're going to jump right into uh, Nightmare Nights a little bit here. Well, Ponyville Cider Fest. I apologize. Ponyville Cider Fest. But, yeah, next month, literally next month, it is in 31 days. They, the Ponyville Cider Fest 2019 will be celebrating itself from November 1st to November 3rd. Uh, the reason I bring it up is I will be attending... As will Winchester, and we're hoping Crimson the Crimson will also be joining us. Yeah, indeed. Nerds. Your, your <laughs> Fluttershy is too on point today. Yeah, she is like that. In any case, uh, so we the celebration and the holidays will be happening. Of course, they do have major events that are going to be going on. So, and they actually announced them earlier today, and they will be going live here probably now, in fact, and I'm going to get my reservations when I, we get a moment in the show here. But we got the Nightmare Night Pub Trots, the um, Cider Tasting with the Cider House of Wisconsin, Bottle Share with Pixel Kitties and Charlie Wordley, which I did a Bottle Share with Pixel Kitties over at Trocon. It was glorious. They also are going to have the uh, 2019 My Little Pony um, Collectible Card North American Continental Championship. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. And all of this yeah. is, has literally just went live now. So if any of you are going to Ponyville Cider Fest or thinking about it, and you also wanted to know of little events that are going on, it, these are all events that you can do. Granted, yes, you do have to pay for each one of them. But it's there. They come with souvenirs, and they are also a great experience you cannot replace. So it's worth it. Anyway, are oh, you okay there, man? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna get something to drink. All right. Actually, I do got a quick announcement in regards to the season, well, series finale, and in fact, this is kind of important because I believe it does affect you a little bit, Suki. Hmm. 
Now, um, I don't know if you mentioned it, or I, I don't know if we mentioned it last week, but we might as well mention it again. It looks like the, seri- the season finale is actually going to be in prime time. I saw I'm, that. I'm pretty sure we talked about that last week. Yeah, we, we did. Talked- and I was hatching out mm-hmm. something with Creature to probably do an interruption for the game Meltdown, but uh, that's not gone anyway, and it's been two weeks. Fair enough. But in any case, I uh, just wanted to, um, were there any special plans with um, uh, Otaku Ascended doing with that, or is it well, just yeah. pretty much? Yeah, we're going to, no, we're going to be doing it, and it's, you know, we're going we're gonna to do the whole thing in the prime time stuff. So, uh, as far as details, like when to go live and stuff like that, eh. All right. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, move on a little bit here, and let's uh, go into news content that we do have, because we do got quite a bit of news to go over. Well, uh, some news anyway. Starting off with merchandise, where the real money is made. Okay, yeah, we all know. But yeah, the it looks like the holidays are bringing in a bunch of merchandise, mainly from the toy fair, into stores all around. Of course, there is the uh, Cutie Mark crew, um... Well, there's a, fu- a few things here. We've got some Equestria Girl dolls. And there's also a Cutie Mark crew. It um, uh, looks like uh, some sort of party configuration there. I can't get a good look at it, but you, you can kind of see it down there. right. Well, it's right in the middle, so it's not hard to miss. So, yeah, more Cutie Mark crew. More figures are starting to come out. I believe that is a target that, that, they're, that, um, that is at. Along with that, though, if you are um, interested in Pony Merch, they also have lights, little shadow lights that you can plug into the wall, um, little Equestria Girl figures that are made out of glitter, and Equestria Girl figures that need to be turned into glitter. That looked more like a big lot. Actually, it's kind of hard to tell. Mostly because the great pricing, I swear, looks like a... um, it looks like a, a Target thing. Uh, either or. But yeah, definitely keep your eyes out on it. Unfortunately, um, oh no, this is um, Major. This is M-E-I-J-E-R that these pictures are from. So I do not know where they, if you don't have one, where they would be located otherwise. Uh, it could be a, a national thing. Maybe. But keep an eye out. Because I'm sure some of you out there want your pony merch as much as possible. And, and along uh, along with getting your pony merch as much as possible, there is also the Build-A-Bear, which is bringing Celestia back once again with a brand new dress. Because nothing says buy a $35 plushie than a brand new dress. Or you could just buy the dress uh, itself. To be fair, boss, they sell a lot of things for more that you get less from. The dress, man. Dress. <laughs> That's what I'm referring to. They could just give you a pair of shoes for thirty five bucks. Okay, they gotta meet the Starlight Glimmer Cape there. It's kinda awesome. But anyway, of um, course. So yeah, if you have not um put a build a bear in your uh, build a bear in your Celestia collection, what? well I guess that could work. That could work. Yeah, it could work. If you have if you don't have a build a bear in your Celestia or Celestia in your build a bear, either way, whatever you need to build a bear and whatever bear you're willing to build, you can build a bear in Celestia and have the build a bear of Celestia with the build a bear cape and the build a bear. Uh let's see. Da, da, da. Okay, and let's go, uh, just checking a chat room real fast in case there's any what's up or anything going on there. I accidentally just closed a window. And let's go on to a little bit of news. Paramount Pictures has registered MyLittlePonyMovie.com. Of course, clicking on it just directs you over to here. But uh, the fact that they have MyLittlePonyMovie.com does seem to hint that we may start to be getting news on the new My Little Pony movie. Which, as we have mentioned, is a it's pretty good chance that it's based off of the next generation. So don't hold your breath that it's going to involve Twilight Sparkle and the main six. We could be wrong. We could be wrong. But um, just... Just from what everything we've heard from hearsay and what news outlets have we have gotten. 
So there are pla So we are hopefully going to see news about the next um, iteration of My Little Pony. And of course, we all hope and cross our fingers and our hooves and whatever we have, whatever we could do, to hope that Generation 5 will live up to the standard that Generation 4 has. But I guess time will tell. But something good to all look I'm forward to. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is it can't live up to the hype in the beginning, but it may get better as time goes on. So who wants to send a bunch of shippers on to Frenzy? Oh, it's you mean, all like we I think I know what you're talking, talking about. about. Yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, everybody jumps in on this one. Let's do it. Sunset Shimmer has been announced as by, according to director for Equestrian Girls, Kay Hadley. I am so, fine with this. So all of the... Uh, all of... Is true so far, I think. Ugh. It's all <laughs> true. You can literally sit, ship bacon hair with everybody. Everybody loves bacon. <laughs> yes. If you hate bacon, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> and bacon loves you. <laughs> no, there. Yeah, I'm gonna give it the glass for. There's nothing revolutionary about this. I mean, a character's by big whoop. But at the same time, I'm kind of happy for that. A character's by big whoop. It's not something that is extreme and unique anymore which is wonderful that's a good thing yeah because yeah. remember whatever god forbid there were a pair of female characters kissing on screen in a relationship god forbid mm. you know what no suki you want to bring up the real reference here on the god forbid yes do it <laughs> suki do it is he alive Oh no, he's, he's, he's muted. Oh. Okay, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take the Otaku Ascended um, uh, straps. Here we go. No, no, no. God forbid that you have any sort of relationship, else you have two clearly female characters with a very obvious relationship labeled as cousins. And oh yeah, yes. about Sailor. I'm, call, I'm calling, Uranus. talking about Sailor Moon, and that's all yep. I need to say. Yeah, I, I was about to go. Uh, was I Uranus and Jupiter? I don't know. I I only know the reference. I haven't watched Sailor Moon that far. But yeah, Sunset Shimmers by so shippers, all your shippings are technically canon. Have fun with it. Now the big question Yay! is, who is Sunset actually going to be legitimately shipped with? Because now all now it's all open, and we uh, other than a uh, winter finale, we don't know who in, in the world she's going to be shipped with. And Sidewalk unfortunately uh, is off the table. Oh, just break up the shit that that the show's made is fine. Uh, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> screw it, we're gonna break up that ship so we can have our ship, ship storm. Yeah. It's been done. <laughs> it's a ship already, storm. So it was who cares okay, about why, that guy? You, you know what? No, Ponyman Pony Man 64 that... wins. No, Ponyman 64 wins. He's shipping Sunset with himself. He wins. He's done the it one works. thing nobody on the internet has ever done. He shipped the character <laughs> with himself. We must let him have it now. It is it's forever. So let's go ahead and yeah, move. Don't know about that, Twilight Spockle. All Pony right, let's go uh, ahead. Pony. Let's go ahead and move on here to Pony references in other media. Uh, recently, Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans has come out. The only thing we're, this is the only time we're gonna really talk about this too much. So, granted, I'm actually kind of excited on it. It does look interesting. But um, Teen Titans, they did have a moment of shade where you had a a male bald fat character wearing a very obvious tank top of a very only obvious pony cartoon parody show. Um, uh, yeah, it speaks for itself. It really does. Don't you just love the way they portray us? Isn't it well, the best? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. To, to be fair, Raven is a fan of that show, so it's like... Mm. Yeah, but it's a girl show. No, no, I, I, I get it. They're gonna throw some shade and, you know what, let, let's face it, we do have some fat people in the community. Looks at the green pony... Uh, <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm working. I'm working on it. Damn it. Anyway, oh, but you were that fuzzy. bad when I saw you, second. That, that's when you say I look at this. I look at the skeletal white pony. 
Yeah, true. Uh, <laughs> any no, case. I consider okay. myself fat, so no. Well, in any case, um, yeah, they did throw a little bit of shade. In all honesty, it's still fun to, even though, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of an outdated, jokey reference. It's still nice to be remembered, you know, because it still means that we're still in their heads. We are forever Look. in their heads. <laughs> Look, they remembered us. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> hey, best way to think of it. And if you want to make, if you want to feel better, how about we t go back to Alex Trebek, who once again had a simple flash of male fans of Rainbow Dash and the rest of the main six. I saw that one. <laughs> yeah, that that's awesome. And we, uh, as the internet, have agreed. Alex Trebek is our Lord and Savior for the remainder of his time on earth yeah don't 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 age him to man man that i feel bad like i kind of do it's sad that he's got he's got to go through cancer treatments again but hopefully he's got it licked again yeah. well that's why i said we praise him for he is awesome to be fair if you ask the brony to draw a brony that's probably what they would draw you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie that that's probably about a 50 50 there the other 50 would probably be somebody in extreme cosplay. And I'm talking like the extreme kind that's almost fetish material. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm now, not gonna, if you were if you know. to ask me to draw a brony, I would draw a guy with a weird hat and maybe glasses. So you. No, actually. Mm. Uh, I've noticed that at pony conventions, there's a lot of strange hats, like just all across the board. Just hats. Mm -hmm. I think that this it probably has something to do with the fact that the Phantom had a lot to do with Team Fortress 2 for a while. I was about to say it's Team yeah. Fortress. You know, I, I actually buy that. I would honestly oh, buy that. They still have a lot to do with TF2. I, I actually buy all of that. I buy it. I, I buy it, and I, I buy it all. I'm buying. I know. Buy, buy. Okay. Buy our toys. <laughs> it's canon now. But by the way, it's canon. Circuit is bought. <laughs> I I am not. Please don't do that to me. Do you know how bad it will be? I mean, everybody will try to ship with me. No, actually, nobody will try to ship with me still. And I'll just, uh, get, I'll so just feel lonely. How many we ship you, Blankton D? You heard that correct, everyone. This week's protest initiative challenge is me with Circuit. No. No. <laughs> not, not Let, let's, let's move on here. Let's move on real fast here. So, um, speaking of pony references, here's a really dumb one. I can't, I couldn't actually add this into our um, video segment because I'm pretty sure that the House of Mouse would come crashing down with a thousand lawsuits. Curse thine the mouse. But yeah, oh, don't curse the mouse. Curse no. the overzealous lawyers. No. But yeah, basically, somebody took a oh. bunch of the scenes of the Avenger Endgame. And they put pony head, pony and evil heads onto everything. Yep. And, and this is that. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's far enough that if you haven't seen it now, you're 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 no longer free from spoiler from anti spoilers. Deal with it. But I, yeah, it's stupid as hell. But it is kind of funny too. Especially since yeah, you get all of these different um. Oh, you even have the Wonder Bolts coming in on a freaking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah i am gonna put this in our uh, video in our video uh portion in our uh chat in our uh, discord but yeah like i said that this, this is just unfortunately something we can't show in full and without constant interruptions and weirdness because i'm more terrified of the house of mouse than i will ever be of hasbro at least until i get more power and that's not gonna happen. Must be collected. Anyway, let's move on to our friends over at the Fall of Answerfold. They have released the Price of Fear two. That's pretty much it. It's a spooky game. It's based on um, you running, walk around as a pony. You deal with eldritch abominations, shoot them with a gun, and it is actually based on a bit off of a Warcraft three engine, which they're modding more and more over time. So it's getting a little bit better every time. But it is also, still, it is interesting and exciting and more playable than it has been before, which is definitely a big thumbs up in my book. That's always been my biggest problem with it. That it just does not feel playable. The tank controls were too much. 
It wasn't even good. It wasn't good tank controls. It, it wasn't that either. No, no, no. I wish it was the tank controls. That would be easy. No, it, it, it the aiming. The aiming was terrible. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, move on here. If you want to check it out, be sure to check our show notes because it's honestly a lot of fun, despite my griping is on it. Now, Ponies at Dawn has released the, is releasing another album, Eternal. And they will be having a live release party this Saturday on live. So 5th of October on, I believe it's on their YouTube channel. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no, no, it's on the Pony... Pony... What's the name? I'm going to list down more information. Twitter. Oh. oh, Ponyville FM. It will be on the Ponyville FM. So you can actually listen to their the Ponyville FM radio station. But yeah, you can By listen. You can listen to the album as well as get their full release party, which um, you can also buy it. I already pre-bought mm -hmm. mine. I I actually put in a dollar for it. It's a pay pay what you want, which I feel a little bad paying a dollar, but I also want to advertise the living crap out of it because these compilations are huge. They're full of wonderful music, and it's always so much fun to get another one. So, if you like music in any regard, especially if it's pony themed. It's well worth your uh, just a few dollars there, Wake. Go ahead and do it. I By the way, shameless the, plug, uh, but uh, nice. also somewhat affiliated with Ponyville FM. They put out a schedule, at least they should, if people remember to post it. No, we do. They do. And that's, let's go to the other person. That's not that Ponyville was. FM. That's uh, Ponyville Live. Yeah. Uh, okay, my fault. Anyway. Uh, well, aren't they still, like, symbiotic? I don't know if they are. They might be. They might be. They're kind uh, of. Uh, Ponyville that. Live does host Ponyville FM on their radio stations. Yeah, I don't think that. But that's, that's about uh, it. I I don't know how far it goes other than that, and it's not my place to say. Eh. Anyway, uh, you were saying, uh, Cole. Oh, I was just saying that I need to pick up like the other albums that they released. They, they, there's some there's some really good music on oh, yeah. those albums. So uh, yeah, go buy them. All yeah. of them. Yeah. You know what, DM12? It's fair, fair you don't buy it on day one. You can buy it on day negative 15. Buy it now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't that a pre-order? Yes, it's a pre-order. <laughs> no. It's buying no, it best time. I'm buying it before it's even completed and out. Okay, you know what? Let, let's go ahead and throw this one out here because CMC... Oh, so you mean early access. You know what? Yep. Let's do this one. CMC is going to have a field day with this, I'm sure. So, game you loft. Have pictures of it. <laughs> I, I have the pictures Equestria Daily has. I do not have anything else, so feel free to. Okay. Uh, do you have a broken Twilight? I do. I do have the broken Twilight. She was first bald. You have the pictures to show the chat room because they need to see this and why you need to go and complain to Game Loft every time you have a chance that they need to actually play test their updates. Now you see. Now you see. It's funny you should mention that because I saw the glitch on Derpy Boru, and I legit didn't know that I was an actual thing affecting. Life. I thought that they just somehow managed to hack the game. Finally, no, <laughs> this is happening no. to everyone. I, I'm they, actually showing they the. They put in a new outfit for this entire thing. They forgot to make it implemented. They forgot to implement the actual timers for the community event things, so it's that all of them are five minutes long. I could actually farm my and entire... it's really annoying because I'm stuck at about 150 in my leaderboard and it's hard to get up there when my phone keeps on trying to crap out by heating... overheating. He's yeah. not ex He's not kidding on any of this. I actually have been constantly getting on the game uh, for the last few days just um, farming out my ponies whenever I can. If I wanted to, I could spend an entire day doing it. And just getting fibers, though I'm not any better on him with as him on uh, getting into the high rankers. Actually, I don't think I'm going to get that. How Griffin. much is the skip for the highest one? Uh, you mean the amethyst? Uh, for the community thing, how much is the skip? I have no idea what you mean. Oh, the sea, sea squirrel the... skit. I don't know how much sea squirrels. Sea squirrel. Sea squirrel. Sea squirrel. Sea squirrel by the seashore. I don't even have sea squirrel. I'm looking at the next one. Posh. Yeah, I don't have that one either. Anyway, uh, so yeah, the, this image right here that 
This image you're seeing right now, this is literally what's happening in the game with uh, Twilight's outfit. I'm actually oh. kind of curious to see if the next outfit that you get does uh, fixes it, and if it's just the one outfit that's gone screwy. Nope. But never mind. So yeah, what they they really botched the up. I I'm yeah, I'm not gonna lie, they kind of botched the update, which um is actually kind of scary too. That if they're this nonchalant about it, does that mean that it's going to lose um? It's actually going to lose support after the series at the series ends, which I'm really gonna be pissed because I actually did put some money into this game because I wanted to support them, and no for no other reason. But anyway, if you are still interested in the mobile game and you still want to try to hash through the uh, current event, it is still going on. And um, I do admit, it is um, getting the uh, griffin with uh, kind of a leopard backing is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, Glenda, the, lep the uh, leopard griffin. And also your, your Tika with the, um, the snuggle sweater there. It, they all are awesome. They're also part of the comic series. I actually did read this comic. It was a good comic run. I liked it. Oh, you're talking about the one where we explore all the known races, uh, like at a convention or a summit. Summit, yes. Not a, and it was actually kind of a catch-up on historical documents and uh, making sure everything is up to date. And uh, basically a lot of crap went on. And finally... The good thing about this event is that the end reward is a gem-giving shop. Ooh. Which is nice. Actually, I do like that. Okay, I'm going to make sure I make it to the end then. So let's get on to Them's Fighting Herds. And the reason we're bringing up Them's Fighting Herds, other than the fact that it's an awesome fighter game, you should definitely play it, and we'll do a tournament again sometime soon. Hashtag promises I can't keep. <laughs> hey. Them's Fighting Herds is doing a has a documentary on YouTube, a 41-minute documentary about the creation of the game. Where uh, inspiration, what initially was the idea for the creation, how Season Desist came about, the creation of the actual characters, um, troubleshooting, trials, tribulations, all that fun stuff. But it is all there. So if you want to know a lot more about the in-depth work of them's fight nerds, you now have the opportunity to view and observe. It's nice. Get a little bit of education in there for you. So, let's go ahead and move on to the challenge of the week. And I'm actually a little excited. We got some good entries here for the challenge of the week. And, of course, uh, when I say the challenge of the week, I'm talking about the writing the uh, art and writing challenge of Secret Second Jobs. And I, I forgot to put the, all of this in notes, so I apologize. So, let's see. Now, I, I do have to unfortunately apologize a little bit here. But we'll get to that in a moment. We also have the Protest Initiative Challenge. What was that again? Oh, corn maze. Maze corn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I have learned that corn and maze are the exact same. It's just different naming conventions. It's fine. That's not useful. It's the joke. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, you kind of blew the joke completely out of proportion again. Tolakoi, everybody. He'll be here every Monday, unfortunately. <laughs> here all week. No, we'll just force him to listen to any of the Quirk Line episodes with the Maze Corn. Yay! I don't hate Quirk Line. I just get a little bit tired from time to time. I am sure you do. But let's go ahead, and we do have some entries here. We, of course, have um, Deathlight Production. We have Toa, and we also have a write-up from Ponyman64. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and jump a little bit into the whoops territory. Because I did try to get into my writing a little bit early this time. I spent last night after I finished everything that I needed to do. I just sat down. Started working on Krita to make some art. I was hoping to line art it and get everything else together after after everything was said and done, getting a nap in. Unfortunately, sleep did not come easily for me last night, and today was horrible. And then when I got home, I realized I needed to get something set up to ensure that we had a proper show. So 
I wasn't able to get the full, full art done, but I did get the line art. So I wanted to show it to you guys before I actually get it finished up, hopefully later tonight while we're doing the coffee house. And for those of you who are curious, and I'm pretty sure uh, he is here and paying attention now, this is Suki of the Otaku Ascended. Wait a minute. Uh, call center? Call center. <laughs> Except this is a special scene from a call center. It's an old callback to a 90s cartoon that he uh, might catch. Shit. I, did, I didn't have the stream up. Uh, it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. I have an idea, Sick, and I'm not going to say the line simply so Suki can see it. Yeah, the per there is perspective there. Granted, I did go off of a um, an, an, a um, reference image to make the uh, perspective, but I did work really hard. To make sure I got it right. I redrew that ass about four times. <laughs> uh, uh, but so great, second I had to draw it four times. You know what? I'm not sure whether to be happy about that or very creeped out. <laughs> Just say Morty, that you, Morty, you, Morty. you have a very you have a very <laughs> weird ass. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. Crap, mm -hmm. dang it. Ah, fuck. Nothing wants to work right. What the hell? No. And I am waiting. I'm going to see if anybody in the chat room can uh, it can guess what this is from or what I'm um, implying here, because I am missing uh, the key. I am missing some of the key things that actually indicate what in the world he's actually doing. Second, I know of only one show that did this. I'm not saying it. I said the chat room. I didn't say anything about the art group. Oh. Oh. Well, Circuit, I guess there's only one thing I have to say. What's that? Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it before you said that. Unfortunately, look looking at this... To the challenge the moment I walked away. Unfortunately, I looking at it, I also just realized I forgot to get the back of his hair, so it's a good thing I didn't finish this yet. So, yeah, I got the top of his head, but I don't think I got at least a little bit of the back. And you are a bit shaggy back there if I looked at your character, right? A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Justin Beaver. Oh, my God. Uh, you're going to have to kill no. DM12, Suki. No. <laughs> but, yeah, this, no, yeah, this, is the, uh, this is the art I was working on for the challenge. I will be finishing it up hopefully later tonight. And you will see it posted on my di on my Deviant and my Twitter, and I will also put it in the show notes for people to check out. But just wanted to let you guys know I am still trying. I'm still trying to get the challenge in every week. Granted, I really got to be a lot more productive about it. But let's get back on track. For those who did enter, first off, we have Deathlight Productions. Oh with... no, my twenty minute sketch. <laughs> hey, dude, your your twenty minute sketch does a lot better than my one hour on Krita. Yeah, I got home later than normal, so I'm like, I look, up, I look, I looked at my clock after I ate, I'm like, six thirty. Let's see what, let's see what I can do. <laughs> so, yeah. Deathlight Productions has pencil pusher writing as an author. It's weird because all I all I ever seen to draw her as is being a is being an alcoholic. <laughs> huh? I guess you have to. Have Full time a... alcoholic, part time. Part-time writer. There we go. There you go. Full-time alcoholic, <laughs> part-time writer. I love it. <laughs> and, of course, we have to bring him in here because he does do art once in a while. We have Toakoi with um, his uh, character playing the scarecrow in a corn maze. Kind of. Or apparently he's in a maze corn. <laughs> Actually, everything about this hurts my head a little bit. <laughs> But, you know, fair enough on getting the uh, cha art challenge here. By the way, the thing that took the most time was getting the the gradients to work. The rest of that, I just did, like, one corn stalk, a thing of corn, and a stick to hold him on. All yeah, right. you see, Toa, I was just about to give you credit for, like, making a really detailed background, and copy now paste, you just made paste, me want... Copy, paste, copy, <laughs> and, 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 now, and now you make me uh, rescind that. Eh. Dang. Uh, actually, I, I don't know. I it's it's an old... You know what? Give him a little bit of credit. That is an old artist trick, so... 
I know, but like, I like the illusion of it, you know. Basically, you've removed the illusion, so you shouldn't have said well, too, anything. Well, too bad, Cole. Santa's not real. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> he's terrifying. All right. Also, uh, a little Nightmare thing that no one can go away. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, quickly on the little thing here, then we got to get to our last entry. Uh, that <coughs> blue and red is actually with a black underneath it. Like, I did two layers different and just did opacities different. Right. So that's why it's a little bit unique. Yeah, you know, I, I gotta start muting my phone here, because, jeez, I... Let's say... <laughs> That was okay, a very I, flourish there. I, <laughs> I did a gradient for the ground, gradient for the sky, a lot of corn, and then me on a scarecrow stand. All right, and we also have a writing entry from Ponyman64. Does anybody want to give it a quick read, or should I do it in my illustrious voice of awesome? You're the head do here. It. You do it. Do I know. It. Okay, everybody. Okay, do it. Okay. <clears throat> The pony and the bear suit danced outside of the corn maze. The bear's presence designated the maze exit as much as the pleasure of the foals who found their way out. I misread that completely, and I'm going to try that again. The pony in the bear costume danced outside of the corn maze. The bear's presence designated the maze's exit much to the pleasure of the foals who, were, who found their way out. Inside the costume... Applejack breathed heavy and sweated in the heat. Of course, none of her friends or family knew that she moonlighted as a costume mascot. She may be the element of honesty, but that didn't mean she needed to tell any pony if they didn't ask. Wow, did I did I just did I just completely blow everybody's minds there? No, it's actually very good reading. Well, you know what? I'll take that, too. You're going to have my job. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, this, is, this is what happens when I actually try and focus for once. I, actually, I can actually do something good. Go figure, right? So, with all of that, let's go into our entries. Uh, we'll go to our, um, dis our decisions here. I loved Podiumat 64's uh, written entry. It's, fu it's a fun little short story. I do have to admit, though, there are some grammatical problems that kind of irk me, you know, just kind of twi get my eye kind of twitching a little bit. But I'm going to go with Deathlight Productions because he did his in 20, he did his in a 20 minute time frame, which, you know, that's a big thumbs up in my book. Hey, I'm down for that. It's uh, easy when you draw something the size of your palm. Make it so you can do it a lot quicker. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> And uh, Toa Koi, uh, not Toa Koi. What about you, Toa Koi? I don't care. Cold us. what is your choice? My choice for the protest initiative challenge this week for the corn maze challenge or maze corn, whichever it is, is whoever wrote that story. I didn't catch the name. Ponyman64. Ponyman64, you win the prize, which is recognition from me. Did, okay, he just bar the, did he just bar there? Uh, I, I was going to... I was waiting for it. <laughs> no, no, it, 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 great and powerful Oz voice. No, no, it sounded like, it sounded like a, he kind of went goat there. Me, me. I would like to say, say I have no me. idea. I have no idea what Toe was referring to, but it wasn't that. Anyways, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. P Ponyman64, Congratulations. Yeah, you win the protest initiative challenge because you, in your story, did not just copy paste corn maze for like twelve pages. So good for you. <laughs> there you oh, go. Excuse me for Where? actually going for a background. <laughs> All right, let's go I'm ahead. I'm kidding. Toa, you get bonus points because you, you you made a background. There you go. Thank you. Bonus points don't matter, but neither do any of the points. None of this matters. Does anything matter? Does matter no. exist? Do you exist? Do I exist? There are people debating about this, and I personally don't think it's worth the time. Just go read about trains. I thought it's all bonus fun. points went straight to Flash Sentry. Nope. That's all. No, he, he gets the regular points. Mm. No, he gets he gets the rejected bonus points. 
The ones that we issue out but nobody actually wants. No, he gets a bunch of points. It's like he was like the top of the leaderboard for like the longest time because he he did the uh, the, uh, the what was it? Test. Yeah, the take home test. He did the take home test. So he's. Uh, I was always behind him. Damn. All right. Why, All right. Why, why, okay. Yeah. I, I am. I'm stealing this conversation away so we can actually move <laughs> on here. So really quick, let's go ahead and go to next week's protest. In this, no, next week's normal challenge, the weekly challenge, the. The next week's art. I actually completely forgot so what like I was saying. The, the next week's challenge the next is. Next week's words. Okay, so for next week's um uh, um, I want to keep saying artist training ground, and that is not the right stupid word. Challenge of the week. Next week's challenge of the week. I actually want to give chat room a chance to flex their creative muscles a bit. So I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think our challenge of the week should be for next week? Go ahead and spit out anything that comes to your mind. I will pick the best answer that gives me a laugh or makes me think. And while we wait for that, let's go ahead and hear the protest initiative challenge. Oh, I see. I see. You couldn't think of anything, so now you're throwing to me. Actually, ah. no, I'm actually being quite serious. I think it'd be fun to let the chat room have a No, chance. no, Circuit. No, no. <laughs> I see exactly what you're doing. So I'm going to say the protest initiative challenge for this week is money. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I figured you were just going to go with one of the, an Inktober sketch. Just like whatever, I mean, one of the will, prompts for Inktober. Give, Sorry. I, I will give a uh, bonus points to whoever also does the Inktober stuff, because I'm going to be trying to do Inktober right along. Trying is the key word. We'll see if I actually succeed this year. Probably not, but I'm going to try. I succeeded once. We'll see if I can do it again. I'm determined. I'm hype. And by the way, the Inktober prompts for... Do you want me to read through all of them, or just the first? I would say Maybe. first week. For, for, well, the first few at least. Uh, yeah. Okay, the first seven are ring for day one. Day two is mindless. Day three is bait. Day four is breeze. Day five is build. Day six is husky. Day seven is enchanted. By the way, if somebody decides to drop my OC for day two, which is mindless, I will not be able to argue with you, <laughs> but I won't be very happy about So where is the Inktober stuff? Maybe that. I don't know, but else. I don't know, but hearing all of those actually makes me feel like I am doing this completely wrong. Okay, hang on. Let me. Uh, I got copy, it. Be paste. Uh, or Toa. I don't know. I'll play. In actually, the let's let's go. Let's um uh, let's go ahead and um confirm the challenge here for next week at least. Uh, we did have one entry in the chat room, so I'm gonna go with it because nobody else submitted one, no matter how stupid it was. Bluffy's Wrath. What the hell? Bluffy's oh, Wrath. Okay. Oh. 